Oh, Alright guys, how is it going? Awesome Soul here, and I am back with the Flea in Tier 10. So this is the second episode in a row with the Flea, um, simply because it's a brand new bot and I like to show it off. Uh, stay at base apparently, oh no. Do you even? <sighs> really? Okay, well, troll bot is going to troll, so I guess I'll just jump up here and follow this guy. Ba -ba -da -ba. God, it's so awesome. So, uh, I think one thing I'd like to cover in this video is my uh, friends list situation. So I have gotten a few friend requests from viewers, it looks like, and I still am not 100% sure on my stance on that. <clears throat> for a few reasons. One being uh, my first run in with the fan ended uh, rather weirdly. I'll say that. <laughs> a little stalker y. And uh, just came off a little creepy, so that kind of tainted me. I know not everyone's like that. Hardly anyone's going to be like that. You're all probably really awesome. But uh, I don't know. And then another thing is, um, I guess I'll just follow these guys for now, yeah. Another thing is, um, some of my friends who do more Twitch live streams, um, they, oops, uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> they uh, have an absolutely massive backlog of people on their friends list, and it's really hard to sort out who's online and, like, who is in like in the call and you have to sort through a massive list and then apparently it also lags out your game when it tries to load in a massive friends list. So that's also something. Um, so I'm still not 100% sure on what I'm going to do for this friends list situation, but uh, I'll work something out. I'm probably... yeah, I don't know actually. So I do kind of want to get into Twitch streaming at some point, which will be nice, but I don't know when, and I'm not entirely sure how, but I'll be having a bit more free time, in theory at least, uh, coming up, so that should be good, and hopefully I'll be able to iron out some Twitch streaming. Or I might use the time to do more informative videos, I still haven't decided yet. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm used to YouTube, and I might just simply stick with that for the foreseeable future. But, yeah, I guess that covers that topic. <laughs> so it looks like we have a, a, a better Megabot this time, although the Megabot didn't really matter last match, because we won anyways. But, that's a win by capping, which doesn't happen very often in tier 10. So, that was kind of surprising, actually. Um, <clears throat> Alright, what do we have here? Ooh, goody. Another jumping bot. Yes. Join the ranks. Oh, it's fairly light. Oh, because it's using mega bot block cubes. That's nice. Huh. Do -do -do -do. God, I love this thing. It's so much fun to jump around. Anyways, another thing I was gonna get at. Ah, yes, that's what I was gonna get at. So, oops, sorry, Mr. Megabot, or Mrs. Megabot. Anyways, uh, yeah. Up there. So, another thing I wanted to talk about is my little concept. I haven't really posted it on the forums or anything, but um, it's kind of a concept for different types of weapons. Like, I guess you could classify the main weapon, yeah, the main weapons in the game currently as regular weapons, and the ones that I have in mind are, I guess, heavy class weapons. So that would be the ballistic cannon and the laser cannon, is what I had in mind. So the ballistic cannon would be, like, your typical tank gun basically. So, 
you would you wouldn't be able to rotate it. You would have to actually rotate the bot, but you could aim up and down still. So uh, I guess I'll go into the beam cannon as well before I do my reason behind all this. The beam cannon is a weapon that you have to charge up, and the longer you charge it for, the more powerful it's going to fire at the end, and the longer the beam is going to be. Flip, buddy, flip. Yeah, alright. So yeah, the longer you charge it for, the more powerful it's gonna be. And then it shoots out, um, a beam of energy constantly, depending on how long you charge it for. If you charge it for, like, a second, it's only gonna shoot hardly anything. But, um, another thing I thought about to balance it is that when you're charging it, you only can move at half speed. So it takes energy from your movement and converts that into the charging of a weapon. So that's a nice little balance. But I crossed by the helicopter there. But what I was sort of getting into is... Oh, and again, the, the beam can is all heavy weapons. Um, doesn't really have a turning to it. You can aim up and down, but you actually have to turn the bot. It also um, has a forceful push back effect when you fire it. So meaning if you've got a hovercraft, it's probably not the greatest idea, or a plane for that matter, or even a helicopter, I guess, to have a heavy weapon on it. Because the pushback is going to make it incredibly unstable and just like flipping all the way but the main reason I thought, because uh, currently the tank treads don't have like a weapon type that works absolutely fantastic with it. Because everything else kind of beats it, really. Because everything's either more maneuverable or can get into a position quicker or what have you. So he doesn't really have anything like that, but simply because tank treads are so heavy, you're not going to get any of the kickback um, changing your position, or like knocking you off a cliff or whatever. It probably won't be insanely powerful, but it's going to knock you back if you got wheels as opposed to treads, or likewise. So yeah, what do you guys think about that uh, idea? Uh, I'm not sure if I'll end up posting it to the forums. But, I don't know, because there's, there's plenty of ideas for tank cannons, but not necessarily the, the beam cannon idea, so, I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below, and I've been the Awesome Soul. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.